Hello, my dear students. Welcome to a new episode of Science. This is Science for Grade 5. Today, we will work on the second unit for Matter to Organisms, concept number one. So this is 2.1, the plant needs. So let's talk about the plant needs, then let's get back to the activity. Okay, so again, this is unit two from Matter to the Organisms, concept 2.1, the plant needs. This is page eight in your textbook. So what are plants? Plants are living things, yes, for sure, that cannot move and they come in different shapes and sizes. They can make their own food by a process called photosynthesis. You might have studied this process before. They use energy from the sun to make their food, which is known as glucose. This is a sugar. Most of plants are green and grow in the ground. Most of plants have the same structures or parts like Yes, roots, stems, and leaves, which help them to survive. Some plants have flowers and fruits, and some have cones, which help them to reproduce, to produce more plants. So this is an example of plants that have flowers, and this is the fruit. Other plants have cones, like these pine cones. They are used for reproduction. What do plants need? Plants' basic needs are water, air, sunlight, yes, for sure, nutrients and the space to grow. Plants get their needs by their structures or parts, which are the roots deep in the ground, also the stem and the leaves. Each part of a plant has a function or a job to help it grow and survive. If a plant does not have water, air and light, it will not grow and unfortunately it may die. If a plant loses one or, one or more of its parts, such as a leaf, for example, it will probably die too. The plants need all their parts to get everything they need to survive. So how do plants use water, air, and light to fulfill or to get their needs? Plants use all their parts to get their basic needs, which are water, air, and sunlight. So how do the materials move through the plant? The roots, the first part deep in the ground, it absorb water and minerals from the soil, then pushing them upward into the stem. Then the water travels into the leaves, or it reaches the leaves through the stem, then out of the plant. The leaves make the food through a process called photosynthesis, the food is transported from the leaves to the roots through the stem. As you can see here, these are different pictures to show us how it works, how the plant gets the water, water and the mineral salts, they are absorbed by the roots from the soil. <clears throat> then look at the blue arrows. This is the water moving up. Water and the mineral salts move up the plant through the water carrying tubes. This is great, which are called xylem, by the way. Then it reaches the leaf. Leaves make food by the process of photosynthesis. Then what? Then the food moves to other parts of the plant through the food carrying the tubes, which are called flowing. This is represented by the purple arrows up and down in all directions. Okay, look at the second picture. This is the roots of in the soil. Can you see the arrows up? This is for xylem. Xylem tissue carries water and dissolved minerals up from the roots. Tissue, these are like very small tubes, the xylem tissue. Through the stem, then to the leaves. Then the water and the minerals from the soil, they reach the leaf of the plant. Then some of the water gets evaporated this process is called the transpiration. And then some are used in the plant leaf by the chloroplast to perform photosynthesis and make food. Food made by the leaf it is transported up and down in all direction by another carrying tubes. They are called flowing. Flowing tissues carry food down from the leaf. 
also it carries the food up from the leaf. So they are the same. Then, so the roots, it soak up water and the nutrients from the soil. So the stem can move it up to the leaves of the plant. Roots also get the nutrients from the air, even though roots are usually under the ground. The leaves of the plant, it collect light from sunlight. Then the sunlight hits the leaves so the plant can make food. Do you remember the process? Yes, excellent. Photosynthesis. The stem of the plant lets the food travel throughout the whole plant. Plants need all of their parts to get everything they need to survive. This is the end of part one. We have still the three needs. Look at the photograph and answer the questions. This is for the activity. Is it a, a living plant or is the plant living? Yes, it's living thing as it grow, change and reproduce. Then look at this picture right here. What does it need to keep living? It needs the basic needs to grow and survive, such as air, water, sunlight, the space to live and the nutrients. If the plant does not get what it needs, it will die, unfortunately. So look at the photographs, then answer the questions that follow. Write down questions about this picture. So in this case, you might say, will the plant be tall or how does the plant grow? Then you're asked to draw and upload a model of how plant meets its needs. Your model can be words, pictures, or symbols. Look here, it might be one of these pictures right here. When the, the water gets into the plant through the roots, it is transported up the stem through xylem tissue. Then it goes into the leaf where photosynthesis takes place. Then the food made by the leaf is transported to all directions by the flowing tissue. And here we come to part two. Let's see. In part two, we're still in the same unit and the same concept, but this is activity five, page 15, 16, and 17. So let's start. Both plants and the animals, they are living things. Yes, for sure. So they need some basic needs to survive. Think about what animals and the plants need to live and to grow. Yes, this is great. Let's see. What do plants need to live and to grow? Actually, plants need water, carbon dioxide, sunlight to make their own food. But what animals do to live and to grow? What animals need to live and to grow? Animals need food and water. Then another question says, what are the, how are the needs of plants and similar to those of humans? Yes, both of us, animals, humans and the plants, we need food and water. Food and water are the basic needs for both plants and the humans, but how they are different. Actually, yes, this is great. Animals and humans, we eat food, but the plants can build their own food. Humans and other animals need to eat food to gain energy to live and grow while most plants make their own food. This is very important through the process of photosynthesis in their leaves. Okay, then think about what plants need to live and to grow and to classify them each as listed as basic plant needs or not basic plant needs. Here are the needs we need to classify them. Water, oxygen, a forest, soil, carbon dioxide, and sugar. Let's talk about water. This is a very important part or a very important component or need for the plant because it needs it in the process of photosynthesis, right? Okay. What else? Also carbon dioxide is a basic component in photosynthesis, but oxygen, this is made by the plant or released by the plant. 
A forest, no, the plant does not need a forest to live. Soil, actually, you might be surprising, but no, some plants can grow without soil. Sugar, this is done by the plant during the same process. So here is the division. The basic needs, carbon dioxide and water. The not basic needs, oxygen, a forest, sugar, and soil. Then read the questions, then write your answers in the space. How do plants get their food? Actually, plants make their own food. By the process of photosynthesis, plants make their own food. This is a very important sentence. This food is a type of sugar, which is called glucose. So glucose is a type of sugar. The sugar is the food that the plant make or build during the process of photosynthesis in the leaves. This sugar provides energy for plant growth. This is important. But how do the roots, stems, and leaves of the plant, each one of them, help it get food? Actually, the roots of a plant absorb water and the nutrients from the soil. Then they are carried, or these water and the nutrients, they are carried from the roots to the leaves through the stem. So from roots to the stem to the leaves. Then photosynthesis takes a place. Then the food is transferred to other parts of the plant up and down. Pay attention that the water carrying tubes, they are named. The water carrying tubes, they are named. Yes, excellent. This is xylem. These are like very, very small tubes that carry the water up the plant. And the food carrying tubes, they are called flowing. Flowing. It carries the food to all the parts of the plant. And here we come to the end of our session for today. Thank you, guys. See you in the next part. And goodbye.